Whether it's over water, thin ice, or snow, emergency rescue crews need a safe way to get a person in danger to safety. Now there is a new way that could help make that response easier and even quicker. WEAU's Noel Anderson has the details. Emergency response crews will tell you it's not always easy to transport someone to safety during ice rescues, but now there's a new piece of equipment that local crews are looking into that would make that response easier and even quicker. It's called the air responder. The machine consists of a high powered snowmobile and it's mounted to a custom fiberglass hull, which actually is just a flotation device so that when you go into the water, the snowmobile won't sink. It also transitions from solid surfaces through broken ice into, bro into the water or up onto solid ice. Mike Fecto with Wise Technology says rescue crews in Maine and Indiana are already using and seeing success with the rescue crafts. This time of year, you get people that go out on the ice and get into trouble. They did it by choice, but the firefighters and the rescuers don't have a choice. They have to go get them. So we want to make it as safe as possible for them to do it. Local rescue crews were given the opportunity to test out the $55,000 craft for themselves. If you didn't have a piece of equipment like this, you're forced to walk out. Um, being tethered mm -hmm. to another rescuer that's on shore. It, it eliminates a, another rescuer. Some local crews are looking at the possibility of getting a craft for their department. It is definitely a possibility. Mm -hmm. Anytime you don't have to go in the water, it is a plus. We have a amount of money that we're looking at spending to future wise to getting future ice rescue equipment. And the rescue crews who came out to the demonstration say the air responder would be an asset to any department. From what I've seen here just in this short thing, it's uh, be a pretty big asset to any department. In Holcomb, Noel Anderson, WEAU 13 News.